So let's talk about the MIG welder. We've got our cup, we've got our electrode, we've got our wire, and we've got our ground clamp. And as we go to do the welding process, we know for a fact that electrons are trying to go from the electrode to the ground clamp. But when wire contacts the table, it just heats up and creates electrical resistance. Uh, glows about 15, 1600 degrees Fahrenheit, gets orange hot, um, but no spark. So we want to talk about how that works. Let's label a couple of the parts here. We've got our cup, right? We have our electrode. Okay. And then we have our wire. Our wire is our metal, okay? But we're missing something. Like when we're welding, MIG stands for metal inert gas. So we have to remember that our inert gas is going to flow out of this nozzle here, right? Inert. Gas. So we end up using a mixture of 75% argon. That's argon, AR, and 25% CO2 carbon dioxide, right? So that's what we exhale. So when we're welding, we have this inert gas protecting our wire, but where does the spark come from? Well, the spark is actually a product of electrons having to jump through a little tiny gap of air, okay? So this amount of gap, it's not much, you know, it could be eighth of an inch, quarter of an inch, um, but it's dependent on the distance. So the further away you are, the more electrical resistance is present in the air. It's called the dielectric strength, um, the break strength for an electron to just jump through it. And it's a good thing that that doesn't happen often because otherwise we'd be getting shocked all the time. Water is a great conductor. That's why we can get shocked when we're wet. Um, metals are great conductors. That's why we use them for our wiring in our house. But in this case, as electrons jump through the air, okay, they create resistance. And that resistance is thermal resistance, right? So we get this little spark. The electron jumps through the air to the table to the ground clamp. And that spark produces a heat of about 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay. It's about as hot as the surface of the sun. It's like you have your own little tiny sun that you're welding with, okay? And so this little tiny spark, this tiny sun, is going across the surface of whatever it is you're doing and you're pouring metal through it to create enough heat to have a structural weld, okay? And the inert gas is protecting that molten metal from just boiling as though you were to drop metal onto the surface of the sun, okay? So imagine you wanna create you know, a nice uniform weld. You want to make sure that you're close to your welding surface, that your metal is not touching so you can create that spark, but that your argon is flowing to prevent any oxygen from getting in there and burning your metal. So from there, all you need to know is electrons want to flow from your positive electrode all the way down to your neutral ground clamp or your negative symbol, and you're ready to go. That's it.